Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Clockwork Empires. This is the new official fully released build, and it did say that I'm loading a save from a previous build, and it could be unstable. So we're going to see if that's actually the case, or if we'll be able to continue with this one and just go from there. Again, I haven't done that much. I can always get roughly back to the same area. I just would prefer not to have to do that. Alright, so that being said, let's unpause the game. I'm going to go back to 1x speed here. And I believe we need to create 10 things. That's what we need to create with the workshop in order to do something. I just got the Steam achievement of destroying something beautiful. I have no idea what that is or what that means. But I have done so. They are looking around and... Kind of digging life. Oh, it looks like they're all going to pile in here to go to sleep, maybe? I'm not entirely certain. Well, did we did we finish? How many items did we build? Alright, let's take a look. Um, there is There are still planks. There's one more plank that must be built. And I'm not sure why it's not being built. So, uh, maybe they just got tired and they didn't want to finish? Like, we have wood. There's wood laying all over the place. All right, well, I'm going to build another plank, I guess. And we'll see if that works. They're not really doing a whole lot. It's it's kind of odd. All right, well, we're going to mine some of the surface nodes over here. Let our boys do that. We're going to go over here. We're going to, I guess, mine whatever's down there as well. Uh, we hit escape to get out of that, that's right. Okay, so, is it, nobody's actually due to, you know, nobody's, um, on duty right now? Is that why the carpentry thing isn't working 100%? And it, was it Luc, ah, here we go, here we go. Livwita is doing it, and Lucinda, I believe she had the best carpentry, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, plus three. But if the laborer is doing all the work, why do, why do we even have Lucinda in there? I feel like we've, oh, I feel like we've definitely, we've only crafted five? I thought we crafted ten. Oh, oh, she's actually doing it now, okay. So she's doing the overall job. All right, that's fine. Chances are we might have used something along the lines, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, that's the time of the day, all right, cool. Here's the toggle building view. So we can get rid of the walls if we don't like it, so we can see inside the building. We can see outside the building if we wanted to see that. And then we can have the transparency. I wonder what the third option is here. So I'm not entirely certain. I'm fine with this. Oh, Lucinda's cleaning. So she's just basically keeping the shop running, I guess. At some point, I would very, very, very much like to get some... Uh, like another building up and running. Because I feel like that's going to be pretty darn useful. Let's go ahead and mine out all this stuff as well. Alright, survival one. It is not paused. Life on the frontier isn't all about crafting fancy planks and mining stone. You also need to know how to sustain yourself. Oops. Uh, okay. For foraging and, st and starting materials may have kept you alive so far, but it's time to build a farm. Click crop fields in the bottom left and then select a crop, ideally one whose description makes it sound edible. Plop it down in an available spot. You may need to use the flattened terrain in the zones and constructions menu if the area is too hilly to farm in. Yeah, yeah. Then assign an overseer to it the same way you would a workshop. Make sure to give the overseer some laborers, as farms take a lot of work before they begin producing food. Once you have a farm, build a kitchen with a stone oven and cook at least 10 crops and two food items to continue. Here's a productivity tip. Once you've got the kitchen from the above step, you may find yourself wishing you could get it to produce food all the time without your attention. If you click the stockpile looking button next to an order in a workshop, you can convert it into a standing order, which will maintain a minimum level of an item in your colony. Great for keeping those crops turning into delicious meals. Cool. Okay, so essentially what we need to do is build a farm. So, crop fields. 
And it looks like all we can do right now is build some cornfields, it looks like. Well, we got to research technology. So literally, the only one we can do is cornfields, which is okay. I don't want to build it there. Hmm. If I were to build cornfields, where would I want to build them? I guess I could build it, like, maybe flatten this out here. Like, maybe this area up here, and then build the kitchen right where he's kind of mining. Or we could go completely different and build it up here and see where that takes us. I might go with this option. This option might be the better one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. That's going to be how I roll with it. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get people to go and build that. A lot of folks are still sleeping indoors. Thankfully, we did build a large enough area inside to actually get things to work. Now, I'm not sure who our current laborer is. I, th I guess it's just this guy right here. Or Athena, Strong Tonics, Wild Naturalists, Zelly, Haverlock. Okay. And no one's going to build the farm right away. That's fine. They're all trying to find a spot inside to lay down and sleep, which, you know, you can't blame them. I mean, who wants to sleep outdoors? I mean, I'm sure there's some people who are like, I love sleeping outdoors. The sound of bugs and monsters trying to eat me while I'm sleeping. And bugs actually eating me. It's wonderful. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Why? Oh, it's sunrise. I'm like, why is everything getting, like, absurdly bright all of a sudden? Can we hunt him? Like, the little bird there? Is there anything we can forage? Oh, it looks like there is some stuff we can forage over here. I'm gonna run around and forage a bunch of stuff if I can find anything to forage. No, nope, I think that's about it in the general area that we're in. Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay. Oh, we have to assign an overseer. Oh, my bad. Alright, um... Who's got the most farming skills? Anyone? Looks like Edwina Bildad has the most farming. Okay. I'm gonna assign Edwina there. And then, if I'm not wrong, we go down here to Edwina. And we're gonna wanna pull... Not the carpentry one, but this one out. And we'll put her on Edwina. There we go. So, the farms should take off at this point. Then we can build a kitchen, which I think we can probably do that while it's starting to farm. Frontier Exploitation, Public Services, Housing. Okay, there's Housing. Public Services, uh, Pot Snappery Populous, uh, Happy, and... Uh, there's a Public House. A Barbershop, a Chapel. What about a Kitchen? Oh, the Kitchen, okay, there it is. Alright, so we can build the Kitchen. I think I'm gonna attach the Kitchen. Ah, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna flatten this area. Something like that. Let's flatten that bad boy out. Oh, I I guess I didn't actually there we go. There it is. I'm gonna flatten the terrain out, let them do that. And once that's flattened, I think I'm gonna put the kitchen like right here, and then maybe I could build another couple farms laying around the sides. I also think I would like to harvest a couple more of these, uh, or some of these, the stone right here. That's going to be okay. We could build another large stockpile. I don't hate that idea. Can we deconstruct a stockpile? Like, can we move one? Like, I almost would rather... Yeah, we can demolish it. Alright, let's demolish the, the two stockpiles here. Have them transfer stuff. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, it would have been cool if we could have murdered the deer. I know. I know I'm a horrible person. I can't help it. Alright, the game is auto-saving for us once again. Did, okay, I'm like, is it going to unpause when it's done? It, it is. Alright, so we can remove the stockpile from there. I'm going to get a larger stockpile in the middle. I, I imagine at some point we're going to get like a warehouse going. What, what are you doing? What's this? Why is there a bushel of grapes over there? And why is it flammable? Are grapes flammable? I didn't think they were. It seems odd to me. Alright, let's go take a look at the terrain again. So we're doing a pretty good job. What is that thing? Alright. 
All right, we're going to do something like that to add to it. The 2x is going. What's going on over here? There's a question mark. I, I guess they're wondering if we should be making more stuff. Which I suppose we could. Um, carpentry, workbench. Why are we unable to... What has happened? Alright, so the... That's weird. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, I, I just didn't click the right thing. I'm, I apologize, folks. Uh, mine shorings, what is that? All that stand between your miners and a... Uh, who are you? Oh, you're Zelly, okay. Sorry, uh, your miners and a very, very deep grave. Make sure they keep a healthy stock to keep your mines running. Interesting. Interesting. Paper stacks. A large stack of paper, bureaucracy, lifeblood office. Alright. Let's get some more planks going. Let's get ten more. Uh, let's go with twenty. I think that's going to be fine. Alright, then over here we can do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I might build a couple of cots... We can do practical beds, but I think a couple of cots, we can probably build a living quarters area. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna get ten of those out. I think we only have what? We have nine people, so I guess nine would be the better call. Alright, so that's gonna be the play. How are we doing on the overall flattening of the terrain? Pretty darn good. Probably add that into the flattening of the terrain dealy and go there as well and I don't know like I like the idea of the terrain being a little bit wonky but I mean if we have the tool we might as well use it right all right let's build another large stockpile here and another one here that should give us plenty of room to do whatever we need to do all right so our farm is coming along I mean, I wish we had more laborers. We only have two out of the total of two that we could have. The workplace capacity is two out of six. We could have more people there. We have no military right now. We have no housing. Where do the uh, cots go? Oh, a stack of boxed cot. That's weird. Also worded very, very oddly. All right, what about... I, I sort of want to follow the tutorial, guys and gals. Otherwise, I would be doing things a little bit differently. So, like, ideally, I would... Oh, i got to create a kitchen, too. Uh, ideally, I would already have had, um, like, a house area for us. So the fact that I don't have that yet, I apologize, but... It is what it is. Alright, I think I'm going to put the kitchen right here. I'm going to make it 6x6. Six six. I think that's fine. Now, you know what? Nope, nope, cancel that. I want to make it. I want to make it a, an odd number. So like six by seven or seven by six, seven by five is fine. All right, there it is. We're gonna say done. And the blueprint's gonna go there. Then we're gonna do a simple door. Okay, and that's gonna be right in the middle. So one, two, and three, and then one, two, and three. All right, so the simple door is there. Once we get that going, we gotta go to the kitchen and we gotta do a stone oven. And we'll be able to plop that down over here once it's built. It's not built yet. So we gotta wait for Seth Brimble to finish up his yob. We still have folks doing stuff. I don't know how much wood we have. Maybe we need to harvest some more trees, chop some more stuff down. And that's gonna be okay. We're gonna chop down these trees and maybe these trees over here. Let's see where that goes. There's something glowing over here. I don't know what that's all about. It makes me a little nervous, but... Well, again, we'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. Alright, we're going to go back into buildings... Workshop... Kitchen. We did that, right? So what did we have to do after... Oh, modules. That's right. Alright, so... Kitchen. And we need this. Oh, did he not finish? Oh, you fool. Come on, man. You gotta get done with that. What's that? I don't know. Seth, get back to work, man. What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. What's going on over here? What was that? 
What was that symbol? Are you doing occult practices? Huh? Is that what's going on? Oh, you got a lot of the weird... Oh, that's corn. I look like zucchini from, like, further away. I'm like, wait, what a minute. Wait a minute. What? We, we planted corn. How do we have zucchini? What is going on? No, it's fine. All right, what, what, what's the deal here? It... It... No... Oh no, what did I do? It's supposed to be a kitchen. Not a carpentry workshop. What? How did that get messed up? I did kitchen, right? Like... Oh, maybe... You know what? It's because I, I left and came back, I think. I lost track of... Oh no. Oh, darn it. Come on. Yeah, I think I, I did that and I clicked and then it just wasn't there. It's my own fault. Alright, 5 by 7 We'll assume that that's what it is. Alright, so I just wasted a whole bunch of time. I apologize, guys and gals. What is over here? We don't, oh, there's some grapes over there. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, that, that, oh. That messes with my brain. Alright, there we are. Alright. We're looking good again, ish. They're farming, but they're farming. It just doesn't look very good. Can we can we clear that stuff out? Like, is that a thing that we can do? Do we have to do it again, or is it is it already there? Like, are they gonna like continue to farm? I would assume that they would. Uh, oh, we have a graveyard, an airship mast, all sorts of weird stuff. Interesting. Landmines. <laughs> What was that sound? Why are you over here, man? Weren't you the one that was just building stuff? Yesterday, he had an angry exchange with Uriah Steelthatch about the hardships of the middle class. He thoroughly enjoyed eating a wonderfully cooked bushel of sausages recently. He constructed a building and feels quite good about it. He slept well in decent accommodations. Huh. Oh, there's no door. I think that's what it's saying. Saying, hey, everybody's stuck inside this place because you're a terrible person. I am a terrible person. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Can you, oh, you guys can just walk through the wall. That's that's okay, too. It's fine. Oh, it looks like this is also finished. Maybe that's what they're talking about. All right. Let's go with modules now and let's get ourselves this. So what is it that I can't do here? Oh, was I trying to... Hmm. Oh, because that's got to be outside, of course. That looks really, really weird. It's fine. We'll see how it all comes together here in a minute. Hopefully pretty decently. Alright, they are still farming stuff up. Now we could probably put some cots in these various places and then I think we could probably move them later, but I'm just going to sit here and do this for now. Okay. So, we now have a, a kitchen overseer that we must assign. So who's the best cook? Everybody's pretty much exactly the same as bad as it is. Terrible at cooking in general. Alright, well, let's take a look around before we do anything else. Does it show us what skills he did. Stoneworking, you're a little bit better at. Uriah, this is you, right? Uriah, you're pretty good at steel, or sorry, at stonework as well. Tobias, what about you, buddy? Also stoneworking. So pretty much everyone. Athena, also stoneworking. Jeez. But naturalism as well. I don't know what that is. Jolly good. Inept. Uh, she's actually pretty good at a lot of stuff, so let's not use her for the cooking. I think, Seth, you're probably the worst right now, so you're going to end up being our cook. So we're going to go and we're going to assign Seth to cooking. You are no longer mining surface nodes, my friend. We're going to have you... Oh, a fungus stew. We're going to get you to do some maize chowder. 
And we're going to want to increase that to, I guess, not... Let's say 10. Okay, and then there was something that we're supposed to be able to press. Maintain a minimum of 1. Base chatter. Maintain a minimum... Oh, okay. Of 10. There we go. Alright. So the stove's there. It looks very funky the way it is, but that's that's okay, I suppose. What's that? Malachite. Cool. Folks are probably getting a little bit tired. Alright, so... What about the beds? We have some cots laying around, right? All decor? Are the cots decor? What are, what are they considered? Uh, let's see here. Labor... Oh, here we go. A cot. Now, we can't put a cot anywhere but apparently an actual place to sleep. Alright, that's good to know. I don't hate that. Alright, so you're going to start cooking. We have people still doing mining. It looks like that's still there. Seven jobs remaining. It looks like we did a lot of the harvesting. What is going on over here? I do not know. Move with clear terrain. How do we clear the terrain? Is that um, zones and control? Oh no, that's down here, right? Clear terrain. There it is. Alright, let's see if we can't clear a lot of this stuff out. What is that? I think if we clear terrain here, it's not going to mess up the farming. I could be totally wrong, though. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I definitely haven't been clearing the terrain like I should have been. Bad Bumpy is bad and all that. You know, you know the, the score, guys and guys. What is that? A mundane pile of dirt. Huh. Just a random pile of dirt. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so our farm's starting to look a little bit better. We're cooking away. I don't know if there's a... How many stacks of corn chowder we have. We have two. And what do we need to do? Cook at least 10 crops into foods, uh, food items to continue. Now, people are eating them as we go, but we're going to try to maintain at least 10 anyway, so that's going to be fine. We could probably get Lucinda's uh, laborer out of Lucinda's thing right now. So let's... Oops, sorry. Let's, uh, let's take that and put that over here. There we go. What about the farmhand? Who? Where's our farmhand at? Edwina. She's... Wander off shift. Okay. That's looking pretty good, though. It's looking. It's not looking too bad, I gotta say. Alright, let's chop some more trees over there. Maybe a few over here. Athena Strong Blossom or Strong Tonic or whatever your name is. You keep doing what you do. You keep doing what you do. There's a fox over there. Kind of wish we could hunt it. But, it's okay. Alright, let's uh, continue to go around and clean up stuff. Okay. Getting some stuff handled here, ladies and gentlemen. Getting some stuff handled. Alright. Uh, Seth, what are you doing, buddy? Did you use all the corn yet? No? Why, oh, are you are you off duty right now? Is that what's going on? You're gossiping. There's no reason for you to be gossiping, but you are. Ooh, angry response. They had an angry exchange with Luvueta, a wood temper, about the monarchy. Buddy, get back to work, man. You gotta get some more of your uh, farmed goods going. Get back to cooking. I wonder if we should build a second stone furnace and if they would, uh... If they would both cook, if there was two. Oh, looks like it's sleepy time. Sleeps right on top of the, the, oh, the oven's like, Ah, yes. The heat from the oven shall keep me warm tonight. And then Athena's like, uh, guys? Guys? How did they see? It's so dark. 
I don't know. They have night vision. It's fine. Up, oh, Uriah's like, all right, no more sleep for me. It's time to get back to work. All right, well, hopefully this goes well. We get everything up and running. I still am very curious as to what's over here. Requires mineral mineralogy report. A naturalist available from the naturalist office can provide a mini mineralogy. Gosh, that's tough to say. Mineralogy report on this area. Okay, that's cool. It seems to... I don't want to say it chugs, but it gets real blurry when you're moving. I think that's an effect that they have, and I don't mind it. That's fine. It's probably easier on the CPU and everything. Oh, what's this over here? Another one. And a naturalist survey, too, apparently. It's okay. Well, we haven't run into anything trying to eat us yet. I don't... There, there still seems to be these odd, like, puff things that's going on. Oh, what's happened? Maddened by despair. What's going on, Lucinda? What's your problem? Uh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, volunteered for frontier duty so she could see some combat. She was born in the blah, blah, blah. She cowered from overwhelming despair and felt a bit better. She cowered, felt better, 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 better. She's doing the same thing now. What is her deal? Why is she freaking out? She ate something that was unsatisfying? Below her refined tastes. Well, I apologize. But it's what we have to deal with right now, and you're just going to have to put up with it. So hopefully you can handle it, and hopefully you come back... Uh-oh. What's... Are you getting attacked by something? Did you murder something? What did you do? What are you doing? What? What? Dude, she's... Freaky, what is she doing? Where is she going? Lucinda! Okay, despair's over. Stop cowering. Woman, back to work. Oh my god, there's no way this ends well. What are you doing? Alright, is there a way to make you less freaked out about whatever it is you're freaked out about? Because if that's the case, I'd be super happy to, to do something to help you there. Lots of cool stuff that we're finding, either way. Oh good, you're freaking out too, good. So somebody else is maddened by despair. Why are they so unhappy? You're so freaked out. A public house will speed up the recovery process. Okay, so they're just freaking out because they don't have anything that they can do. Alright, so this is okay, this is okay. Productivity tip. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I will read Survival 2 and 3 upon the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time for more Clockwork Empires. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. It does help quite a bit. And until the next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>